Attack on Mika. Hey, Sato-chan! Guys, it's been a while. Today is a reunion of my high school soccer team. It's been a few years since all the members gathered together. You look good! Sato-chan, you haven't changed at all. <laughs> is that supposed to be a compliment? We're all grown up now. But I miss joking around with them like this. Whoa, you're dressed plainly as always, Sato-senpai! Sagi, I didn't know you were coming too. How rude! I was a proud member of the soccer team too! This man's name is Sagi. He was a rude underclassman that would always make fun of me and call me things like lame or introvert. Saito-chin might be a plain guy, but he's a good guy. Yeah, even if he's plain, he's nice. Those would have been good compliments if you didn't add the word plain. I have an idea, since we're all here. Let's all go to a hostess bar after this, hmm? What? A hostess bar? All of a sudden. There's a bar around here that a friend of mine works at. Saito Senpai, I bet you've never even been to a hostess bar, right? What? This guy is making fun of me again. He's right about the fact that I've never gone to a hostess bar, but still. All right, let's grab a second round of drinks at the hostess bar. <laughs> oh, I'll pass. Me too. What, you guys? That's not fair. I couldn't say no and ended up being dragged to a hostess bar after that. Welcome. Whoa, so bright. So, so this is what a hostess bar looks like? Hey, Charu. Soggy, didn't I tell you not to visit me at the bar? Come on, don't be like that. I brought you a new customer. Is that the friend that Saggy was talking about? She seems a little unfriendly. He was one of the upperclassmen from my high school. Apparently, it's his first time at a hostess bar, so take good care of him. What? Hey, what are you saying? What? Come on, come on. Chihiro just started working here, too. You're both new here, so have some fun together. What kind of scenario is this? So, what are you going to drink? Um, I'm not really sure what I should order, either. <sighs> <sighs> she looks so annoyed. A hostess bar's all like this? That watch? Isn't that a Rolex? Doesn't that cost over $50,000? Oh, yeah, how'd you know? Uh, I guess some people can actually tell just by looking at it. What are you saying? I'm not really knowledgeable about watches, but one of my senior co-workers told me that I should dress the part so people don't look down on me. So I just randomly got one. <laughs> mm. What? You just randomly bought a $50,000 watch? I didn't know which one to choose. So I had the store clerk help me out. I see. You must be very wealthy then. Oh, I'm sorry for being rude to you earlier. I was just a little put off because Sagi came in here so suddenly. Huh? She's acting so differently now. In return, let me give you all the fun you need. <gasps> oh, she's so cute when she smiles. The difference between this and a cold attitude is kind of hot. Dude, don't fall for it! That's her customer service smile. She smiles that way toward everyone. Hey, could I get your last name? It's it's Sato. Everyone around here calls me Sato-chin. Sato-chin? That's so cute. Maybe I should call you that too. Feel free to call me Chiharu, okay? God, I'm so easy. The physical touch is unfair. I was walking on cloud nine for my first experience at a hostess bar. I couldn't do anything but have fun with Chiharu-chan until late at night. The next day. Sato-chin, thank you for yesterday. I still feel like we have so much to talk about, and I miss you. Come hang out with me at the bar when you can. Chiharu-chan, she's already texting me? I'm pretty sure all the girls in the hostess bars do things like this, but having a pretty girl's attention isn't a bad thing at all. Well, thank you too, I also had a lot of fun yesterday. I'll visit the bar again, so hopefully I'll see you then. After that, I started to go to the hostess bar more frequently. So yeah, the client was two hours behind schedule for the meeting. Wow! But you still waited for them? You're so sweet! Chiharu-chan, you're so sweet for listening to my complaints too. Sato-chin, I'm happy to listen to anything you have to say. On another day, Chiharu-chan, uh, would it be possible to see you outside of this bar? Sato-chin, are you asking me on a date? You're not allowed to, right? I'm just a customer after all. If it's you, Sato-chin, I'd be happy to spend time with you or go home with you. Do you want to have dinner sometime? With just the two of us? 
I was single at the time, so before I knew it, I was head over heels for Jaharu-chan, who would listen to my stories attentively. We started seeing each other outside of the bar, too. Never mind about me. Let's go to that ramen restaurant you said you wanted to go to, Satochin. What? Really? Ramen might be a little too much for small girls like you. I want to know what you like to eat, Satochin. Here is your extra large garlic energy ramen. Wow, it looks so delicious. I yeah. Jaharu Shan, you don't look too well. Are you okay? Maybe we should have gone somewhere else. Uh, I'm fine. This dish looks like it's going to give me so much energy. <laughs> On another day? Hmm, what should we watch today? Let's watch whatever you want to see, Satochin. Are you okay with a little horror? I'm totally fine. If I get scared, I'll hold your hand. It's so much better seeing it on a big screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? She doesn't look okay at all. I'm sorry. I didn't know that you weren't a fan of horror. Uh, that's not true. The movie was just extra scary. Jaharu-chan, are you sure you're not trying too hard? Huh? I'm happy that you're always trying to prioritize me during our dates, but you should relax a little too. Satochin. You're always taking care of me at the bar. If you're always trying to prioritize me, you'll get tired of it. Uh... One day, I didn't realize how late it was. It might be too late to stop by the bar Jaharu-chan works at today. Gosh, how many times do I have to tell you not to come to the bar? Is that Jaharu-chan and Sagi? I came to check up on you because you seem to be taking your sweet time. How long is it going to take you to get money from that introvert? <sighs> Shut up. I'll handle it soon. You don't need to tell me twice. What? The introvert? Is he talking about me? What did he mean by get money from him? What does she mean by I'll handle it? Um, I actually have a favor I wanted to ask you today, Satochin. Oh. It's rare to hear you ask me for a favor, Jaharu-chan. Uh, um, will you lend me $10,000? Uh, so those two were talking about me. Why do you need that much money so suddenly? It's because I messed up in my work and... <laughs> did Sagi tell you to say that? What? How did you know? I coincidentally saw the two of you talking. I'm sorry. Why did you do something like this if you're going to end up apologizing? That's because I was in a relationship with Sagi before, but I found out he was scamming money from a bunch of people with fake invoices. I told him that I was going to leave him, but he threatened to leak photos of me online if I betrayed him. Sagi was doing that? Why did you tell me the truth? I was planning to leave you after I got the money, but you were always so nice, so I could never bring it up. Does that mean you were going to trick me but ended up liking me? Oh... But I don't mean it romantically at all. It's not. Thinking back now, it was all too perfect. Now I know why you are forcing yourself to match my hobbies. I'm so sorry. Sagi is the one who should be sorry. I don't think I can ever forgive that guy. So I have an idea. That night, I asked Shaharu-chan to have Sagi meet me. Long time no see, Sato-senpai. <laughs> Did you finally realize that you were being tricked? Go ahead and make fun of me all you like, but what you did is commit crimes of fraud and blackmail. What? What are you saying all of a sudden? <laughs> I didn't threaten you. Besides, that woman right there is the one who scammed you. If she brings you to court, you'll definitely lose. Bring to court? Who? I mean, I could take this case on if anything. What the hell are you talking about? You're so annoying. You just committed an act of assault too. Huh? Stop saying nonsense. Grabbing onto someone's shirt sleeve is a perfect example of criminal assault. What? A lawyer's badge? Would you like me to explain how heavy your sentence is going to be after we take into account all the people you've scammed? Ah! Even if I'm an introvert that you used to make fun of all the time, I can become a lawyer if I study hard. You'll regret this! So, you were a lawyer? That's why you were wearing an expensive watch. Yeah, I mean, I don't really understand its value, though. <sighs> Take you tell of Soggy like that was super cool. I'm really sorry about everything. Um, did you fool for me at least a little bit? No. I can look for an actual boyfriend without anyone getting in my way. Thank you, Satochin. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, good for you. Uh, I guess it always ends up like this for me. 
Excuse me, handsome. Do you want to have a drink to cheer yourself up? We recently opened, so I'll give you one on the house. No, I'm not in the mood for that. Then more reason to come inside. I'll guarantee that you'll be going home with a smile on your face. What? One customer coming in. Uh, Welcome. What's going on? I decided that I was over Hostess Bars, but I'm in one again. What's your name, sir? I'm Sato. I'll call you Sato Chin then. Cheers, brr. <laughs> what does brr mean? Sato Chin, you have a wonderful smile. Here, have some nuts. They're on the house. That's so many. The lady in the photo is so pretty. Does she work here? Sato Chin, you're so sweet. That's me from last year. What? What happened? Your reaction is so dramatic, Sato Chin. That's so funny. Huh? I thought I was sad, but I'm able to talk normally with her. Stop it! I can't be in a relationship with a customer. Gosh! I didn't even say anything! Maybe at this bar, I'll finally be able to grab hold of some kind of happiness? Maybe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.